welcome back. Let's do a little bit of Grateful Dead speed paint. I started out with this truck and I had to do a sketch first because at this point in time did not have a Wacom I could see. So we're gonna talk a little bit about black and white value for just a second here before I get into the Grateful Dead stuff. Black and white value, gray tones, is how I nail down a lot of my stuff when I'm speed painting because it helps me see something in rather than relying on color to differentiate between your field depth and, you know, different objects. What you want is to make sure that you can kind of see this image in three dimensions before proceeding. And that's why I do this, because if not, you have no idea where your light is coming from and where things are and how they exist in a space. By the way, also, I apologize for all of you deadheads that clicked this link and we're hoping to hear a dead song. I obviously don't have the rights to those, so I used this song from our good friend Derek, and my husband has spent a lot of time editing and remastering the song to make it work with this video. I really hope you like it. Both really talented dudes, Derek Gerson and Aaron Ross, my husband, they have made some really amazing stuff. Just a little bit on the dead here, you know, I'm a younger deadhead, second generation. Some of the first songs in my conscious memory are Throwing Stone, Bertha, and Touch of Grey. It really ended up forming a lot of my childhood. In fact, I'm I'm the product of Grateful Dead. Like, literally, without the dead, I, I don't think I'd be here today. You know, that's not me being cheesy, that's me being really literal. My dad was hitchhiking to a concert in my mom's car stuff and we jumped in. From that came eventually me. So I literally owe the dead my life and I know that sounds really good. It's the truth. God's honest. I wanted to do this piece, Truck and Sam, because it kind of represents like this wild and free notion of the American spirit. And I love Uncle Sam for that. And Truck and obviously because that was one of the things that my dad used to and I got a little bit of Scarlet the Dome in the background. I think I like to do multiple songs in one when I'm thinking about the Grateful Dead because their songs didn't really quite begin and end as long as they were live. Right now I'm finding a lot of freedom in putting on like a YouTube video of an old concert and just seeing where the heck this takes me. This is it. This is my, uh, my tribute to my, my past. I'm more Grateful Dead art later. If you've got a, a song or an actual like art style or some album art that you'd like to see me do a take on, let me know in the comments section below. I would be really happy to take your request on that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.